Hi, I'm Christina Warren, Senior Tech Analyst with Mashable, and today we're going to be looking at a new smartwatch. So smartwatches are a dime a dozen these days. You know, we saw a ton of them at CES 2014, but one of the best that we saw comes from a name that we've heard of before. So last year, the biggest smartwatch by far was the original Pebble. This is it right here. It's a sports watch that connects to your iPhone or Android and can do all kinds of cool stuff. Well, this is the Pebble Steel. And this is the latest smartwatch from the folks at Pebble. It's got the exact same features as the original Pebble, but it is in a steel case and has a much more fashionable look and feel. From a screen perspective, it's actually the same size as the original Pebble, but because they took out a lot of the border, it seems a little bit more sleek. It's also now covered with Gorilla Glass. So it's the same e-paper display, but it's covered with the Gorilla Glass, so you can knock this thing and it's still gonna be sturdy. It's still waterproof. You can still go up to five meters in the water with it, go swimming, do whatever. The big update in terms of the internals is the same processor and everything else that's in this watch, but it has a little bit more storage, meaning that in the future, you'll be able to have more apps and watch faces on this device at one time. Alongside the new watch, Pebble has also released a bunch of new apps and the long-awaited Pebble 2.0 software. So some of the apps that you can now get on the Pebble include things like Yelp, Foursquare, and ESPN. Foursquare is one of my favorites because if you just click into Foursquare, it's gonna immediately show you places that are nearby and you can kind of cycle through different locations that you might wanna check in to just tap on the middle button and you can check into Foursquare directly from your Pebble watch. So this is the new Pebble software. And um, on iOS 7, you know, it's got a brand new look and feel. You can actually look and see what apps are already on your watch. You can also put apps in a locker to install later. You can search for new watch faces directly within the app. You can also search for new apps. That whole process takes place within the Pebble app itself. But what's cool about this app is that it has built-in support for calling back to a server. So that's how the Foursquare thing works and it's also how ESPN works. ESPN is also a pretty cool app because you can check the scores for your favorite sports teams without having to open up your phone and get yelled at. So at the end of the day, you know, the Pebble Steel is basically just a physical iteration on the original Pebble. So if you have a, the original Pebble, should you upgrade to the Pebble Steel? You know, I think it kind of depends. If you got your original Pebble about a year ago and you've enjoyed it, for $250, this isn't a bad upgrade. It's going to be a higher quality product. It's certainly more fashionable. Down the line, you'll be able to store more apps on it at once. Uh, but fundamentally, it is the exact same internals and it'll run the exact same apps. So I think that for a lot of people, especially if you got yours at Christmas, I would just stick with the original Pebble for now. If you are in the market for a new smartwatch, however, I think this is a great one to look at because not only are you going to get the biggest ecosystem of apps out there, but you get a really nice design and one that I think uh, really looks more like jewelry and like a real watch than anything else out there on the market.